another thing that has developed, the market has developed and as connoisseurship, I think, has developed about geography, is that there's, people have, become, have come to recognize the difference between the price that you pay for things that are what we call vintage and prints that are later. So a vintage print being a print that was made, let's say, within five years of the date of the negative. And a later print being one that was printed later, obviously, um, from the original negative and, and but deliberately done later as, as an addition or not. Carter Bresson is an interesting example of this. There are not very many <coughs> vintage prints of his around circulating on the market. He did have the print a lot throughout his life, <coughs> right up to his death. And so there are a lot of later prints around. And he didn't limit his editions, it's not something he believed in. So he just continued to print on demand and as he was asked for it. So this is a, a later print example um, of one of his one of his very well-known images, one of his very popular images of auction. And for something like this, um, depending on the size, depending on the different sizes, you might get sort of five, six, seven, seven thousand pounds, maybe eight thousand pounds. Um, if it were a less popular image, you might be down to two, three thousand pounds. And then if we can flip to the next slide, this is um, another image of his that appeared as a vintage print, so an early print, size probably about that big, um, a few years ago, and the value for that is more like 20 or 30,000 pounds. So in the same way that I said with Peter Beard, the sense of rarity um, and sort of as close as you could possibly get to unique with photography is, is something that, that definitely appeals to you. People. The investment question is such a difficult one because we've seen some of the, I've shown you some of the price changes over a number of years, but it's difficult to, I mean, it's hard in hindsight even to say whether one could have predicted that. And I think when it comes to collecting, one always has to be, or one should be, I think, um, thinking in terms of material that you, you like and you want to live with because that idea of sort of being able to turn it around in two years' time's investment is actually is probably relatively um, difficult to, to see through. It's a young market that you know, 1970s to now it's, it's not it's not very long to have sort of established something, especially when I think most of these auction houses have been going for you know, a few hundred years. Um, so it is, I would say, generally on on an upward trend, and you are going to find steadily over time those prices increasing. Um, so it's certainly an interesting field to get into, and a, and a good time to be doing it.